today we are taking you with us to dream. This is going to be a heck of a tour. Hi guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles. Sometimes we're showing you affordable liveaboard yachts, sometimes we're showing you attainable dreams. This one is going to be definitely not easily attainable for most of us. This is a yacht that I'm sure you've seen in so many magazines and seen videos of, and we are so excited to be invited aboard. This is an iconic Palmer Johnson DB9, 52 meters, 170 feet. So welcome aboard. We're gonna start on our swim platform and we gotta talk about this passerelle because it might just it's be one of the largest passerelles. One of the craziest see. setups, I mean, really. So this whole passerelle, so there's a massive hydraulic ram right there, which is pushing up this part of the passerelle. Then this part obviously gets lifted up with this hydraulic ram. And then as you guys can see, the stairs converting, they're coming up as well, making it a flat surface. And then this can pivot here, this part of the passerelle, and still goes all the way there. It's not even all the way actuated. And when it tucks away, this part of the swim platform opens up and that's where the passerelle rests in. So that's quite some engineering there. You guys could tell how excited Rico is when he starts stuttering. Well, DB9, we all know where that comes from. That yeah, comes where from does an, it come from? One well, Austin Martin. It is an Austin Martin model. The owner of this vessel is a second owner, yeah. and the original owner had a DB9 and actually had this yacht painted in the same color to match his to Aston match. Martin. Exactly. So this current owner is also a car enthusiast, so he loved that, kept it. And that's a really cool name for a So yacht. Palmer Johnson is known for aggressive and very unique designs. Slick, I mean, modern, aggressive. 171 foot. Look at these lines. I mean, it looks like a race car. Absolutely Amazing. fantastic. All right, so, so we're going to go up. up. So we talked about the stairs, right? Yeah, we so we have about equal stairs. stairs on both yeah. sides. Once the passerelle is tucked away, yeah. they're equal. OK, all right, we're coming up to the first very cool feature of many on this unique vessel is we do have an actual jacuzzi on board. So this jacuzzi drains into its own tank, gets filtered in there and gets pumped back in. So that water is traveling on board. The tank is underneath. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, so it's definitely great. Also, you know, part of the, basically a ballast on board. And we have huge layout cushions. I mean, I don't know, <laughs> I 10, don't, 12. I don't even know how many people you could fit on it's there. It's a silly game. I, I mean, it's just huge. It has an awning that creates extra shade. The sun is in the right location. Just to give you guys an idea, this is a 31 foot beam. I mean, yeah. this is not even full because it's... You can feel the more, size. But you can feel the size. It is set up as like a Saint-Tropez beach club. As we go up to the flybridge, you guys will see it even There is so, so much cockpit space on this yacht, I can't the way even it's hear laid you. out. I can't even hear well, you. Well, good thing I have my own microphone. <laughs> It's fantastic. Even the hot tub or jacuzzi, or it could also be not heated and it's just going to be your plunge pool. You yes. know, if you want to cool down instead of warm up, easily has space for six, eight people. Oh, yeah, eight for Easy. sure. You can fit in there. All right, so then let's keep going. Moving forward. Yes, so we have our lounge area, high low tables. So you can set up as low or you can actually have some snacks and sand downers here. I like how all these tables convert. So you can so see. So we have the example yeah. here. Yeah, this exactly. is all folded out. So this yacht is available for charter and it is for sale. As we're dreaming together, just think of like, would you like to own one or would you rather just go on a charter and you'll have a different yacht type of yacht that you would rather own? Put it down in the comments. I'm really curious to know if in this dreaming chapter, where, where you guys stand. So this yacht was built in 2010 and refitted in 2019. And they did some usage space conversions of how they use the space. And so the big push was to have this great alfresco dining, but also an area that you can dine in most of the time. So even if it's hot out, what they did is they've installed some huge air conditioning. And so if you close up the weather doors on both sides, and blast that you see in this space, this is actually an air-conditioned alfresco dining. I like how they continued the teak here. The teak look, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I really like it too for the bar area. Look, looks pretty neat. So at the bar area, we have kind of storage all around. We do have our sink, which also could be closed up right here. We have an ice maker right here, a drink fridge. Everything you need to do to the proper bar service is right here. All right, shall we um, step forward? I'm so excited. 
I've been looking at this yacht for a while, you guys, and I've always wanted to get a chance to get on board, so I'm pretty stoked to bring it to you. So here are the, the wing doors, mm -hmm. right here. And they're not straight. You see how they're shaped to actually follow the design? Check it out. You see that, right? Yep. Oh, that's just such a unique look. When you see that lines of this yacht, you know it's a Palmer Johnson. Like, you immediately know. Oh, very distinguished lines. Look at the headroom here. I mean, the deck space. It's incredible. So all of these are the cleaning attachments or what yep. are these? To tracks to be able mm -hmm. to hang on and propel yourself? Yep. All right, we have really tall pool walks here, open and exposed there for easy dockage. We have a side entrance actually right here. Interesting, yep. right? Kind of a midship point. Oh, it's kind of interesting how it flares out still. There's still almost like a step there. That is actually very convenient. Uh-huh. I gotta say, I really like that. They ran it all the way along. It also makes it so much easier to clean. It's almost yeah. like, a, like a rub rail, like an oversized rub rail. Yeah, but I'm thinking of the crew, right? Because to yeah. be able to reach that, you could actually just walk around and clean the upper part of the boat, which is the Very one true. you clean yeah. every day. It definitely makes it easier for service. All right, and we're gonna go all the way forward. Wow. <laughs> well, that's a four deck. That is a bow you never forget. So right here we have the covered windshield of the pilot house. And then what is this? Okay, so we have a salt water pool on board forward. Once it's drained, we have our tender stored in here. Refills in about 40 minutes. So it's pretty fast for the size of the pool. Filtered salt water, yeah. Yep. And the water comes back and it's already warm and ready to go. And I can't even imagine. I mean, what a beach club right here. These are actually huge hatches which can open up and there's a jet ski in here and there's a jet ski in there. And then in the center part over there, we have these two big doors which are opening as well. And that's where the crane is in. So you can drop the tender or the jet skis on either of the sides, whichever side you want. Let's have that demonstrated for you guys because it's worth the look. It is crazy. Cue the crane. You guys get the idea. So it's easy to lift out your jet skis, your tender, everything. This is crazy. It's quite some engineering. So are these then also hydraulic? Yeah. This is really cool, actually. I want to see, I want to see. Wow. You have this hydraulic hatch. So for your anchoring operation, you just open it up. You have all your dock lines here as well as your windlass. And then you have a very easy visibility as well if you want to look over the site and see where your anchor is. Pretty cool. Everything is just under hydraulic hatches. You know what you guys? At Chartagus usually you enjoy all this operational stuff that you see crew doing like when you're anchoring it's exciting you know as a guest. Imagine now that you're actually watching this whole production happening. This is opening up. This is opening up. The it's crane comes crazy. out. The anchoring is happening. I mean it's literally like an event every time you're anchoring for a charter guest. Let's keep going up and check out the flybridge. Welcome to our San Tropez Beach Lounge area. Wow. Incredible. We got some sea bobs here. Have a layout cushion area. The view, it's definitely what you expect from the exterior design when you look from far away from Palma Johnson. Yeah. It's just your party deck is what this is. So let's see what we got here. Of course, a ton of seating area here. This is definitely a statement. It's completely incorporated into the design. We know how difficult it is to actually do an upkeep on black hall or black any exterior. Paint, any black paint is this, this, very hard to this maintain. This looks in fantastic condition. All right, as we go forward, we have an ice maker. So this must be our bar area. Drink storage, drink storage. There was one more there. Maybe okay. that's a drink fridge. Oh yeah, drink fridge. We have another hot tub. Yeah, if you don't feel like walking all the way down aft for your hot tub, you've got another hot tub. This if is you, incredible. But you know what the difference is? This is very, very private. So if you had yes. anchor somewhere and there's no one around, that hot tub is fantastic. There's nobody there. It's just you. And but this if you're here in the is, marina, for example. Yeah, this is way more private. And most of the time, nobody's really looking at you up here. On the aft part, we have the sun sail with the support poles. And then here on the forward part, 
we have these two very large umbrellas, which looks really cool. I really like the umbrella look, I gotta say. What is this? That's a TV. Oh, it is. Imagine this is your setup for your football Sundays. Right. <laughs> Looking at the mast, so we have two open array radars and we have three large satellite domes. I mean, it just looks so cool. I know it just gets a lot hotter, but it does look freaking amazing. It has its trade-offs. It definitely looks very slick. All right, so this is cool, unique feature that we're gonna demonstrate to you guys. We actually have wing stations up on this deck. So this is one of them on our starboard and it looks completely covered and slick and you can't see it all and magically we have opened the one on port magically so it's my little private balcony <laughs> you can even close yourself up close the you door could, behind you, you could close yourself up you can lean over and actually have a pretty good visibility going alongside so what do we have here we have our mtu controls the engine controls got a chart plotter here shift and throttle control bow thruster control horn switch and the rudder control. Should we go and show you guys the interior? I think it's time. Spoiler alert, it is probably not gonna look like what you expect. Let's check out this beautiful interior. But you expect it, right? No. I feel like you look at the exterior and you expect like it's gonna be like this shiny, dark nightclub feel, but it's completely different. It totally surprises you. It has this loft, almost like a beach house feel to it. I was very surprised when I walked in. When I walk in here, it feels like a very comfortable hotel lobby to me. How huge is this? <laughs> you, you mean the... It's like a is king, it still it's like considered a, an ottoman? It's like a king size bed. It is. Or at least the queen. It is. Right? I mean, it's massive. The headroom is incredible. We walked around with a gentleman who was 6'5", and he looked small in here. So the headroom is definitely fantastic. You guys know this is 6'10 right here. So, yeah, what do you think? 8 feet? I don't know. 7, seven eight five. feet? It's definitely very tall. So we have a pop-up TV a really cool lounge area. So something we found out when they did this recent refit is they changed this area. This whole space here was this giant salon area and they had a formal dining all the way forward, which they've now changed into this, I think, way more useful a space. Pretty cool bar area. So we get tons of natural light coming in because there's the entire length of the salon and the bar area as well as the formal dining is lined with windows on both sides. It is so bright, airy, it has a really just comfortable vibe. I like all this rounded furniture. You guys know me, I really enjoy that. We have some storage here. I'm sure it's all set up for like great, you know, indoor dining if needed. So I'm sure all the service stuff is tucked in. This is a working boat. They do charters. It's full crew right now on board. So I'm gonna just be very respectful and not open too many things. We'll point out the storage. You know, you guys are gonna be very hard for me, but I am gonna try to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Formal dining for eight. Yes. Right here on this round table. I'm a huge fan of round tables. It's way more comfortable okay. having a conversation with everybody at the table. Yeah, everyone can participate. I agree. It is kind of nice. There's more storage. And then as we're coming forward, we have what I think is probably the most used space in here. I just know how people are socializing. So I'm sure that when this bar is happening, I mean, you literally feel like this is your focal point. Like this is where everyone's hanging out. Even if there's people there, they are like, this is a very busy area. So they have very nice. <laughs> Cognacs. Very nice alcohol laid out here. And we got a humidor. No. Nope. No. That is not your humidor. Okay. All right, so now we're going to our bar, which is completely uplit. Uplit? Backlit. Backlit. I love this bar setup. That's is that a, TV. a TV. Yeah, that's a TV. It's very unique. Yes, very. I have yet to see it on a yacht that's set up like this. Oh, hi. <laughs> that's convenient. All right, so we have our drink fridge. Drink fridge, storage. More storage, bar all, bar setup. Wow, an ice maker. Yeah, so everything Fantastic. is for the bar. 
And then right here, we have our sink. And the coffee maker, mm -hmm. which also gives you the opportunity to make espresso martinis. <laughs> so let break those things. In case you're wondering. <laughs> This thing is like, you know, it's just, it wants to be used. It's right there. All right, All right shall cool. we keep going? Yes. I know, I think we kind of got stuck at the bar because it's the last day of the show and it feels like a proper day for a cocktail. I love, I love the setup. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I like it a lot. I'm surprised that we don't see it in a lot more yachts. Is there any way we can still incorporate somewhere a bar area on our boat? This is 170 footer, my friend. But what Dream about big, but man. <laughs> What about on the opposite side of the galley? Could be a bar area where the front of the bar has the storage capability we're looking for and you still could stand behind and have a little countertop. Oh, we'll talk about it. Let's look we'll at this. We'll talk about it. Okay, so as we're going forward on our starboard, there's a side entrance here. Yep. And forward is our day hat. Really cute day hat here. Great space. It's right next to that entertainment area. It's perfect. What I like about the location of the day hat here that it's really private. So a lot of times you have day hats which are visible to the salon or to the entertainment, the formal dining. Yeah. This one you go through one door, Yeah. there's a foyer and there's a second door, so privacy. Agreed. All right, so. Oh, what? you missed something. It looks to me oh. like it's all storage. You're right. Wow. There's your stemware, there are your coffee cups, the entire back wall. Yeah, this whole area. Let's keep going. Um, this is not storage, right? Yeah, it is. No way. No. No. Oh, it's not. No, okay, it's not. Okay, let's go check out the guest tables. Oh, what? I totally walked by something. In case you guys are wondering, these are doors. Wow. On every staircase, now you can lock it here in place. If you have any kids on board, you don't need to worry about the whole time that anybody would fall down the stairs. You can just lock it up and have it safe. That is so simple and so useful. We have our signature foyer space here for Palmer Johnson. It is pretty much shaped the, like the, the, the yacht v, The V-shaped doors, yeah. If you yeah. close the doors, you would actually be able to see it really well. Well, I can close it for you. You want to close it? Okay. Check it out. Huh? There we go. Yeah, pretty cool. So I got to say, this is very wide space. On this type of a vessel, like this look, this slick from exterior, and I know it's 170 footer, but we've been on board of some yachts like this. This is very, very spacious. And just wait until you see the cabins. I mean, we just did a little run through and we were so impressed by my honest space. It is very, very cool for charter. So we do have a refrigeration unit here. Unit? Sure, we have a unit. So a guest get up in the middle of the night and feel like something cold to drink and need something cold to drink, there you go. Oh wow, look at that! Anything you forgot and you didn't bring with you, they've got it. The crew has it. Yeah, that's so cool. That's a, a big thing, especially on the charter boats. Let's see. Oh, here is our EV rack. EV rack, yeah, with all the direct TV boxes. And some breakers right there as well. That's right. So we have our technical access here. And then which side? Port side. Port. All right. Welcome to our port forward cabin. Oh wow, this is very, very spacious. It Look is how much space is in between the beds. So generous. We still have a Pullman to mm -hmm. make this a three. Super easy. This is so much room. I am just so impressed. Hanging lockers, great size as well. Got the TV mounted across from the beds. The Pullman, which you mentioned, I think there's a drawer in there, in the bed. Yep. <laughs> oh, there's some kids' toys there. The heads are also very generous. And while well, you stand in here, you don't even know if there's a shower in here. This is crazy amount of room. Look, two of us can easily maneuver in here together. It's very cool. So, wow. And a big walk-in. Very spacious, one, possibly two-person shower. I guess it's a two-person shower. One and a half. Oh, I think we would easily fit in here. All right, and uh, I like this wood. It's really nice and warm. Mm -hmm. So on the starboard side, we have a matching cabin. Yeah, exactly the same, identical, same exact head. We didn't look at any storage. Let's check storage in this cabin here. So we have storage here, drawers right here, a little bit more storage here. Yeah, it's great. There are no portholes, right? No. Just windows. They're portholes, they're just not openable. And no openable portholes. Makes it easy for crew never to worry about 
people leaving them yeah. open. Yeah, this boat, if we <laughs> haven't mentioned it yet, it's built to charter class. Yeah. It's actually Lloyd certified. Mm -hmm. So I believe these windows are too close to waterline. Yeah, uh, especially, especially if you're doing 32 knots. Yeah. You do not want those open. All right, we're going to go aft now, and we have two identical VIPs. We're going to go on port first. I mean, it's really generous. What do you guys think? I mean, the headroom, again, is really impressive. You've got some storage underneath, have a proper little sitting, getting ready area here. Seems like an AC access, sounds like it. Let's open one of these. Wow, this is large. Wow. Big closet space, right? Yeah. Again, TV on the opposite side of the bed. And then there's more storage underneath the TV. There's some drawers. All right. Oh, that's a lot larger. I mean, you don't expect it. This is like, I walked in and it's, I just couldn't get over how much space. So you have a bidet, you have a regular you know, toilet. I mean, it's just so much real estate right here that you can move around, you never feel cramped. It is a really, really good size head, even for 170 footer. Definitely a two person shower, very much so. Oh, I can't wait to show you the master. <laughs> yeah, it's very large. It's fantastic. Very comfortable ensuite of the VIP. Yeah, and the amount of light in here, I mean, it's just, how did they do that? I'm impressed. Let's check out the other side. I mean, I'm sure you guys believe us, it's exactly the same. Do we have drawers here? Yeah, I think so as well. Something different now. Yeah, there we go. Have drawers underneath the bed here. Mm -hmm. Same exact layout. God, these heads are just, wow. No, that's different. It is different, right? Yeah. The shower is different. Mm -hmm. This one's kind of like tucked in in the corner. I like the floor drain. Really nice feature. It has this kind of a Scandinavian a design, bit. right? Yeah. Like timeless. It's always going to feel nice and classy. It doesn't get old. There are small iPads in every room, which mm -hmm. control all your functions of the TV and so on. So you don't have... I don't think you have remote control, actually, separately. So interesting. When we walked in here, I feel like our vibe changed. Like we both just kind of chilled. Calm down. Isn't it weird? It I is. Think it's, it's a very the, calming I interior. I think it's the interior because we were both outside. We're like, wow. It might also be to have something to do with it, that it's Sunday and the last day of the boat show and we're just calmer. Well, we want to calmer on our exterior. Well, I that's think true. it's just being in here. Like it just has this vibe that you feel really relaxed. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go and check out the hull. The crew area, we're just gonna do a little pop in, whatever crew is allowing us to see, yes. and then we'll show you the owner suite. So we're gonna go forward. So we're entering the crew area. Electric door. We have the side entrance right away, great for provisioning. Yep. Stuff in, and then we're gonna go to our hill. All right, well, you guys can tell that we have a huge sunshade in there. That's why it's so dark in here. If we didn't have it in, it would be really, really bright in Both. this helm, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Especially with such slick windows going forward. So the helm is really no guest area. It's a working crew area, captain. So Office. Yeah, it's you know set up this way. It doesn't have any sitting area for guests and nothing like that. It's, that's not what it's made for. Where do we start, Rico? Well, it is pretty much a commercial ship. I mean, not pretty much. It is classified as a commercial vessel and it's built to charter class. So we have multiple office areas, some chart storage areas on the port side here. We got another helm chair here, which is on the slider system. So as you guys can see, the helm chairs can move to starboard or port. So you can lock them in a position where you want them to have. Well, let's start over there and see what so you can name. You we have an indicator panel here for lights. So all our navigation lights, you can see the indicator lights right there. We have a searchlight remote control right here. We have one of the MTU pads here, so you can scroll through your menus for the MTU engines. Flare night vision camera. There are multiple cameras on the boat anyways, but this is the night vision camera, the flare camera. On this screen right now, we have engine information on, so you can see your engine speed, your RPM and so on. Right now, of course, the engines are not running, so it's just the sleeping screen. We have a radar here, so you can switch things over left and right. As you guys see, we have a radar here. Get the radar over there. Uh, it might be the secondary radar, actually. I've made myself at home. So a cool thing is the way the helm is set up here. We have the helm set up right in the center, where you actually would be able to stand behind. 
and then the chairs are left and right from it. I really like it like this. You still get the helm wheel. You have the thruster control right here. We get the shift and throttle control here, autopilot control, so very logically organized actually. Got our rudder indicators, compass, your steering control buttons right here. So then this boat is outfitted of course with Furuno equipment. So we have a remote here for the Furuno and we get another one here on the starboard side so it's all redundancy and doubled up. So you have two rudder controls, right? What does it mean follow up and non-follow up? I know the rudder joystick. Difference because this hole is coming back. Once you oh, change the course, got it. So the rudder is coming back to the midship. To its center. And that one, if you it stays. If you activate, it stays in this position, and so the boat gonna go. And that's so that's it. If you wanna change your heading, you just move it a little bit. And go back to neutral. Come back and then it comes back to autopilot the uh, original. Do you know what the watch keeper is? You can set up the time like delay every yeah. ten minutes. You need to. Come and push the button. Oh, so oh, so you're, you're not awake. falling asleep. If you yeah, if you fall asleep, if you uh, don't do that, we have alarm uh, in a captain cabin and a crew uh, crew mess and uh, chief officer cabin. The stabilizers you manage down from the engine room. From the engine room, yeah. yeah. This is gyro stabilizers. Yeah. We don't have fins, mm -hmm. and then it's good because when we are going for mooring inside the port, we're not worry about catch some lines or anything. It's good, like good point. Yeah, can be ground lines and yeah, from another boat, some mooring mm -hmm. lines. Got the Humphrey trim tab control right here, and then all the way here on starboard next to this. How many screens do we have, anyways? Here we have five large screens. Yes, five large screens, and then we have two starboard of the last one. We have our engine start and stop control, and then also manual dim buttons so you can dim the backlit buttons for nighttime and then we have the horn control here all has the presets already too five short blast moving astern alter to port alter to starboard and so on it's all preset already that's kind of cool it's made by Kahlenberg, which is the same brand like our horn on our boat so this must be available to us of course it's available this this yeah well, why, what did you say oh you want to press stuff yeah Sorry guys, I took a little nap while this was happening. You know how like when I read to you, you, you fall asleep within mm. 30 seconds? Mm -hmm. It's kind of how I feel about your home tour. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> guys, put in the comments if you feel the same way. I'm going to pick up the paste a little bit. Oh the paste, God. like Victoria would say. Oh. I'm going to pick up the paste. Gosh, it's very relaxing. So then here on the starboard side, again, we have some trip planning, office space, chart space with more Furuno equipment, of course, a printer courtesy flag storage i'm really excited to have on our boat oh that's cute that's not even that big we could totally do something no like because that. the courtesy flags are small so you yeah, don't need I that like big of a storage that's space that's great that's what we're gonna do that's perfect size. i really like it i like that it's all standing desk height it's a good working height it's also a good height if you're underway you know you can actually hold on because if it's here it's not really that comfortable if you're here you really feel exactly safe. visibility wise we can't really tell right now but looking from the foredeck it yeah. looked very well actually the long passages yeah it looked like it would yeah. be good visibility all right should we go and uh annoy the crew a little and try to show you guys some of the spaces let's annoy the crew you guys know that a lot of times on these yacht tours your crew spaces are not shown to you we really really try every time so it's not easy because it's their home and you know they don't always want to show it so these guys are awesome and they're gonna let us show you a little bit immediately to our starboard we have captain's cabin got it look how cute this is please knock do not disturb is there another setting or only these two i want to have this in our cabin this is awesome where's the like go away I think the not disturb is pretty much a go away. <laughs> wow, this might be the largest captain's cabin I've been in. I agree. I mean, it's almost full view. <laughs> it is, right? Yeah, it is really <laughs> large. So we have a full-size bed. A little, it's smaller than a, a queen, uh -huh. right? And uh -huh. then there's a refrigerator, some storage. I mean, it's a whole office in here, which is pretty cool. Of course, he has more storage, hanging lockers here. I'm not opening anything, you guys. Uh -huh. And we have an ensuite as well. We can pop into politely. Oh yeah, proper shower. A really nice cabin. Uh -huh. 
quite impressed. And we're gonna go now down to the crew mess and show you the galley. So we have our wine fridge right here on this side. And what are all these? Is extra refrigeration? I believe so. Yeah, these are. Yeah, so there's both of extra freezers, so that's pretty awesome. For, so for the right one, you have to be extra tall. Yeah, oh, definitely, yeah. How do you do that? <laughs> you have to be extra tall, you have to be on top of something. And there's another one right here. So we have one pro cabin and laundry right here. Quick peek in right here, so we have a laundry space. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? Doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. Thanks. Two washers and dryers. <laughs> oh, it's nice and bright, actually. Oh, yeah, it's Steam cool. roller, just right here, one. Yeah, so, oh, oh wow, wow, you even have one of these. Yeah, yeah. Two washers and dryers, you got a sink, and he has this press machine thing. I was kind of dreaming of that. Really cool, and you have even a port light. Yeah, it's actually a pretty good amount of space here, and storage yeah. and everything and nicely laid out and then we have a crew cabin one of the crew cabins right here which we're not gonna pop into yep. and then we're gonna come back up and show you guys the crew mess and the galley hi guys hey, thanks hi. for letting us film we really appreciate it <laughs> all right so last day of the show right so how many crew are you guys on board 11 11. 11 got it okay including the captain so it gets yeah. tight in here if all 11 would sit at the same time which probably never happens anyways shifts <laughs> cool. they, they, they feel like us. Like the boat show. It's Sunday. Done. It's done. Yeah, and it's a Sunday. All right, so we have a professional dishwasher melee uh, line and a sink here. So a crew mess area right here, storage. And then we have our galley. The chef was kind to let us in while he's actually prepping. Hello, chef. Hi, hey, chef. What is your name? Massimo. Massimo. Oh, that's a great name for a chef. Okay, thanks. <laughs> chef Massimo. Is it cool if we pick in a little bit what you've got yeah, in the galley? Okay, yeah? No Anything yes. that you particularly uh, love that you have in this galley that maybe you don't have in others or... I have everything. You've got everything you need. <laughs> All right. Yes, yes. So we have a microwave, microwave oven. Oven to do the bread. The What's oven. this? Just the storage? Yes, yeah, storage. Storage. And I have all the equipment, the small equipment that I need. I have my thermal mixer. I have all my oh. stuff. Everybody loves a thermal mi oh, thermal yes, mix, right? Yes. This one is very useful. Yeah. I yeah. have a four huge fridge, as you can see. It. Yeah, and you've got and two freezers. freezers down there. Plus, we have another fridge just for the clients. Yeah. You know, just to sort of fresh fruits, you know, and uh, ready, ready to go food. Always ready. Yeah. And uh, dishwasher, it, you know, yeah, dishwasher. Also, this one is professional. By me, I have a question for you. Is this, this one have this really short cycle? You can program, you know. Okay. I yeah. I put a ten minutes program, so oh, I mm -hmm. use all the pot because yeah. this one I use mainly for the pot. Yeah. So all the pots they would be all very nice and shiny yeah. and so good. So <laughs> you guys sink. Yes. Got all his equipment there. Yeah, it's yes. actually pretty it's great. Pretty, pretty good amount of space. Good amount of prep room. Over here, and they have uh, also over there. All, inside, yeah, all the storage. The other side, all the storage on. Oh, this is is this the that's storage this that's is this a storage area Sorry, yes. oh yeah they're mm -hmm, just like mm -hmm. a garage oh wow oh you got a oh, breakers it's, like it's just breakers yeah, yeah. oh i see cool yeah, yeah you've got it's actually a yeah, lot bigger that, than it feels know, when you have a let's say vip clients and uh, yeah. everybody you know you just you yeah. don't want to see your mess <laughs> <laughs> i love that's it. it thanks for showing it to us we no really appreciate, yeah, appreciate it. it thank you My thank pleasure. you My well, what are you making uh, food for the crew. Today we have a uh, pasta with uh, chileno sipas and we have mussels with uh, tomato sauce. We will have some carrots. What, what like. time is lunch? What time should we can, come back? Can you squeeze, squeeze in two more? <laughs> no problem. No problem. We have a soup, zucchini soup. We oh know we don't man! Eat. Yeah, yeah. I wow, you don't mess around. Regular. It's okay. Yeah. You know, it's so, the food that the people they like. So in charter operation, you have the full crew and you have all guests together. So you're cooking for twenty people. Even more. Sometimes. Even more. Sometimes. More. Yeah. Eleven yeah. plus twelve. So is it just you, or do you have a uh, help? Do you myself. have a sous chef? Wow. Myself. That is a lot of work. I was a uh, executive chef for twelve years in the cruise ship. Yeah. Oh, so I was, oh, okay. I was, <laughs> I was handling 300 cooks and over 4,000 passengers on board. Thank you so much, Chef. My really pleasure. appreciate it. <laughs> My pleasture. We'll let nice you continue you. working. Nice no to problem. meet you. No problem. So anyway, we have two more, three more. Four more. Captain. Four more. Captain. Four more. Yeah. Four, oh yeah, four. Five, one. Yeah, captain. that's right. That's right. So four more cabins. Crew is. It's been a long week. Yeah, it's been a long week. <laughs> so we're not going to torture them. All right, let's go and check out the owner suite. So we're going all the way aft and we have our own separate entrance. 
Very generous staircase. Same thing here. The safety door. Okay. So we have... Oh, hello. <laughs> wow. All right. We have a drink fridge and lots of booze. This is where the special stash is. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're coming into our owner's ensuite. I just want to point this out. Which has French doors. Yeah. Okay, it's locked, but you can completely open it and it's still very private. You can just leave these doors open. You have this huge open space. This is wow. truly a full beam, 31 foot beam, and you pretty much feel it all in here. It is It is massive. Huge. It's really welcoming and warm. It has such wow. a cool like hotel vibe. The layout on this master is pretty fabulous. I think they did a really great job. So we have some drawers here. Can we just talk about these nightstands? Sure. Okay, so this one has a compass. Oh, I love it. Right? They're not the same, right? No, the other, other one, one has a watch. Is a watch. Very cool. Oh, cute. Do you see that? The cute little, yeah. ah, I like it. All right, so we have storage here, drawers. We do have our little makeup getting ready area here. And we have these signature round windows. We actually can see it on the other side even better because the blinds are up. The uh, so cool. slick Palmer Johnson windows. Before we head anywhere else, I would like to invite you to my dressing room. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, this is crazy big. So much space and you just can dream off. It's just absolutely fabulous. So these are cool drawers and then, you know, also drawers and the hanging locker and oh, you can actually display. I absolutely love it. I mean, this is uh, definitely a yacht closet goals. Pretty impressive. We were just talking about how big this is. 14.7. That's almost 15 feet. We have the same area available on the other side. So you do have pretty much an office in here that you can easily well, set not up. The same, it's not the same area because the bed is not in the center of the room. The bed is moved further to the port side. Yeah. So we have more space on the starboard side. Yeah, so we do have basically an office space in here. Oh, it's just designed the same way, but mm -hmm. it, does, it doesn't open. So you have your home office, your settee area here, a really good size couch in here. And then, welcome to the ensuite. This ensuite checks oh. off a lot of boxes for a very nice hotel suite. Look at these windows. This is a proper bathtub. Yes, fantastic size. Then we have two sinks, dual vanity here. We have drawers. The owners use the boat all the time, so I'm not opening anything, you guys. There's definitely personal stuff on board. We have our bidet, we have our bathroom. And we have a huge shower. This one's gorgeous. For sure, a four person shower. Definitely. It's a lot of all Rain shower here. overhead, and then you have your still handheld. Is it called handheld? You say it all the time. I feel like it's called something else. I call it handheld. Handheld shower? Handheld shower. It just sounds weird. It's not wireless either, it has a cable attached to it. <laughs> Plug it. <laughs> no, it's great. Four person shower for sure. The drains are definitely beautifully done. What a bathroom. Wow, the beam on this. It's Look at this. crazy. It's really well laid out. I like that they didn't go with like Jack and Jill layout here. It just gave it so much space. You're really not in each other's way. It's fantastic. I agree. It's, it's it. amazing. And they were able to actually fit in the bathtub. Mm -hmm. So now all we have left is the engine room. Let's go check out that engine room. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of horsepower on this, right? Yep. How much? Over 9,000. Enjoy. Thank the you. Tour. It's going to be warm. Go. Alrighty guys, welcome to the engine room. We have of course machinery running, so please excuse the sound. You're gonna hear the chillers running and the vents running, but uh, that's what it is. Hi Anton. Hello. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Can you show us around a little? I mean, I know the obvious are the two V16s MTU engines, which are right, I mean, one is right here. How many horsepower do we have? So it's uh, 4,600 uh, horsepower each. Wow, so you have over 9,000 horsepower. They allow us to cruise uh, 
over 32 nodes. 32? Yeah. I mean, it's a V drive, I see that. V drive, V type, uh, yeah, we have a gearbox. Oh, very large and gearbox, then, actually. Yeah, it's a big one. Yeah, you can see it, actually, yeah, it's in there. It's under the short yeah, power yeah. inverter. It's V type, so the propeller shaft, uh, it's going under angle. Yeah. So backwards, and yeah, engine is looking uh, forward, yeah. Forward. And then you have straight shafts going out, right? Yeah. It's shaft drive, yeah. From the gearbox. That's incredible. I mean, this size of a vessel and being able to go, potentially go like 30 oh, nuts or 32 nuts is... Kind of sport style. <laughs> yeah, sport yeah, style yeah. Board. This is a fuel tank or no, it's a hydraulic tank, right? It's a hydraulic tank for gyro stabilizer system. Oh. So there we have... Um... So you get two gyros? So it's one unit with two rotors. Wow. At the same time. These must be probably one of the largest gyros I've seen. They're <laughs> very big. Yeah. Yeah, they're quite good, so we can we can run the maintenance when we're underway. We can even start them when we're in the port. You know? <laughs> yeah, but the boat seems pretty stable, anyways, already by its size, right? Yeah. If you're in a calm anchorage, you don't really need to run the stabilizers, probably. Uh, yeah, it depends on the anyway weather conditions. Yeah, yeah. If it's a big swell, we still need to run. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. No, of course, yeah. We, we in protected nice place so we don't need it how many generators you have so we have three generators yeah uh, and then usually you run one or you run two with guest and boat we we run two two okay yeah. because we use um, lots of power like galley laundry water makers a chiller unit yeah as, as well for uh, safety reason as well if one generator fails or something yeah, you have the other one. We don't want to have black powder. Yeah, no, I, I understand, I understand. Any water makers you have? Oh, you got them on the yeah. bow. Okay, so you don't have them here. What other equipment you could point out what might be interesting? I see these massive electric motors here. Is that oh, for the hydraulic our, system? Uh, our, yeah, this is our central hydraulic system. There are two motors. One is a 30 kilowatt. We use it for winches to pull out mm -hmm. anchors. And the 11 kilowatt smaller pump, yeah, we use for daily use for gangway, oh, okay. close uh, hatches. So do you usually start the engines from down here or you start them from the pilot house? We can start both. We can mm -hmm. start from engine room and from pilot house. I prefer to start from engine room if we're in the port or just before to go because otherwise it can check everything. Yep. But once we're at anchor, we always keep control on the, on the pilot house. Pilot house, yeah. And in case something if we need uh, started like uh, without any delays, we can mm -hmm. go push the buttons and start yeah. to go. Very interesting. So it's still kind of okay access actually, right? Around the engines for like space for, for maintenance. For maintenance, for service, it's really low running hours for almost 12 years old boat and we have uh, 2,500. Oh, that's not much at all. Yeah, not much. So you don't have like an engineering office kind no. of? Like a control room. Control room. We don't have, we don't have. No? Underway, nobody would really be in here, actually, right? Except for um, checking. Yeah, just uh, every half an hour. Yeah. Just uh, make uh, rounds. Make sure everything's everything good. Everything works uh, yeah. smooth, good, no any alarms. What is this system there? It says Sea Guard? So, this is a uh, oily water separator. Oh, got it. So we should have with uh, the class equipment for the yeah. our Lloyd's. Uh, yeah, certification we, yeah do you guys have a black water treatment or yeah we have black water treatment it's a head hunter oh yeah uh, it's on the crewmates in the pump room so where where we have um, sewage tanks uh, black water and gray water tanks it works really well actually it, it works well yeah. yeah we're gonna get the same for our boat <laughs> a smaller unit of course but yeah and then you have a big switch panel here for the electric. Manually switch over between shore and ship power, or does um, it automatically switch? Normally, uh, it's in uh, automatic mode. I can do manually as well in case of something, but normally, uh, in yeah, normal operation we do it in, uh, in auto. Um, and yeah, we have this uh, synchronoscope. <laughs> yeah, it's like old school, but it's uh, most reliable thing. It's nothing happens. It just better works. be better be old school. It works, yeah. and then you get shock power converter, so you can plug in to 50 hertz or 60 hertz. Yeah, so we can connect to anywhere around the world. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we can connect from uh, 200 volts till uh, 500, 520 mm -hmm. volts, 50, 60 hertz. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. It just converts to our central electric system. We but have 400 volts. But the boat, the boat is running on uh, 220. 
Yes, in the master cabin, in some locations, we have uh, 110 volt uh, sockets, but we have uh, transformers. Yeah. So transformers, step down transformers, uh, is connected. Mm -hmm. Because only, yeah, he's uh, American, he got some. All the, the regular, yeah. Equipment. Most of the equipment, they like. Um, I, know. I mean, cell the, phones, charges, power it's all supplies, like 110, 220, stuff. anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 50, yeah, 60. No, uh, yeah. No Some equipment they require just something 110 volts, so you have to. Use. For sure, for sure. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your time, <laughs> and welcome. you guys enjoy the very last hours of the boat show. <laughs> yeah. Last day. Oh, I forgot to mention. So we get all the chiller systems here, right? Yeah. This is uh, the main chiller. Main system. chillers. We have two compressors. Even now, we use only one compressor. That's plenty, right? If we keep those closed, then <laughs> yeah, it's enough. One last question. Yeah. What is this? It's a window. Oh, it's a if window. We, if, we, yeah. if we open it, yeah, we can see the. And why do you keep it closed? We keep it just for safety reasons. Oh, safety reasons. Yeah. <laughs>